A force of 600 pounds is required to pull a boat and trailer up the ramp, inclined at 15 degrees from the horizontal. Find the combined weight of the boat and the trailer. All right, this is related to vectors because if you are um, considering the magnitude of a vector in certain scenarios, uh, the magnitude represents the force or can represent the force that is being acted on. Okay, so right now there is a vector that is uh, acting on this boat and its magnitude is 600. And so that's kind of like the length of this vector is 600. Um, but that's not what we're looking for. The, the, the problem is asking for what the combined weight of the boat and trailer are. Now, if we were to consider that, um, weight is a vector that just goes straight down. So we're looking at what is the weight of the boat and the weight of the trailer when, it's, um, when it takes 600 pounds to pull the boat forward. Now, when we're missing uh, magnitude or the length of something, uh, what we usually try to do is we try to make a triangle somehow so that we can find the length of it. Because if we make a triangle, then we can use the distance formula or the Pythagorean theorem to find out its length. So let's try to build a picture using the information that they've given us so far. This is actually the only piece of information that can help us draw a triangle um, and possibly get an answer. Because we are given one length. And if we're given one length and one angle, then we could find missing sides of a triangle. So like any triangle, if I am giving an angle and I'm given one length, doesn't matter which one, just one of them, I could find the other ones. So one angle, one length will allow us to find any other missing length. So let's, uh, let's draw a picture. Now I'm going to draw this picture and I don't want you guys to stress out if you don't understand all of it. Uh, this is kind of like a high level type uh, physics kind of a question. I'm not going to test you on that. I want you. I want to know that you can uh, do like the crunchy stuff with this uh, type of a problem, the the math stuff. So um, here's our ramp, and here's the horizontal. Okay, that's what it says right here. It says from the horizontal. That means this angle right here is our 15 degrees. Now, we see a triangle right here, but this is not the triangle that's going to help us out because, as I stated earlier, the vector that we want uh, goes straight down, uh, straight down from the wheel, like straight down. So this is completely vertical. This is completely uh, horizontal. Now, if this is completely vertical and this is completely horizontal, that means we have a right angle right here. Um, but that's that's the direction in our vec the of the vector that we're trying to find, which is the combined weight of the boat and trailer. Okay, so I'm gonna make it a little longer here, uh, and then just you know to kind of give us more space. It's all figurative too, though. We don't need the actual length. We just need to kind of con construct a triangle so that we can find, so that we can find the uh, the magnitude of this guy. All right. So uh, what else we got here? Um, we also have um, this 600 right here. Now, how does this 600 uh, relate to this force right here? Well, we could draw a line right here because that would give me the same vector as this guy because uh, he's parallel. So if this guy is parallel to this guy, uh, they're, they're, they, they're, they could be the same vector, all right? So uh, he's going to be um, of a certain length. So let's put 600 right here. That is the magnitude of that guy. And then uh, then we can draw the, the other part of our triangle that you guys might be seeing now. So we got 600 pounds, and then we have this other part of the triangle. We go this way, and that's this is going to be another vector. This would be actually the, the force that the trailer is acting on the ramp. Okay, so this would be a, a right angle right here. Okay, so... How can I relate this 15 to this 600? So I'm, I kind of want this 15 degrees inside of this triangle. And actually, it works out. I don't know if you guys see it right away. But uh, this angle and this angle plus this angle, they all add up to 180 degrees. What that means is that these two angles, this one and this one, they add up to 90 degrees. And so if I consider this angle right here and this right angle that I see with this line, 
if this angle and this angle add up to 90, and this angle and this angle are supposed to add up to 90, that means this must be 15 degrees right here. So far, we've only just done like construction. We're just kind of building our triangle. Now let's get to the stuff that you should know because we're studying vectors. Let's take this, uh, this triangle right here and separate it from our picture to make it a little bit easier to understand. But first we have uh, this, this blue vector. Okay, that's our 600 pounds vector. And we have the 15 degrees. So we got the 600 pounds uh, magnitude and 15 degrees. This, this green line uh, represents the weight or the force acted upon the ramp. And then we have this orange one that represents the answer we're looking for, the combined weight of the trailer and the boat. So now we have our triangle. Now you just got to set it up and solve it. So we have uh, sine, or actually my question was, uh, how are we going to find this? And uh, the trig function that you would use is sine because we have the opposite and the hypotenuse. Since those are the two numbers that we're working with, we're going to do uh, sine of 15 degrees. And that equals 600 over, uh, let's give this a name. Let's say this vector right here is V over the magnitude of V. Now, magnitude gives us the length. Remember that? Okay, and now we uh, multiply both sides by the magnitude of V. Uh, and then we divide both sides by sine of 15 degrees. And then we throw this stuff into our calculator. We go 600 divided by sine of 15 degrees. And we get two about approximately, we get 2,318 pounds. And that would be the combined weight of the boat and trailer. So the takeaways from this problem is... That magnitude can be representative, represent length, which can also represent force. And in this scenario, we're talking about force. And we can use the force to <laughs> use the force. We can use the force to make a triangle to figure out other forces in our in our scenario.